Good morning, everyone. Whoa, that was loud. Good morning. So we are likely to be a smaller crowd today. There is no sermon, no Eucharist. Uh, Selden is with the youth at Chanko, and we are going to use the ancient form of morning prayer to worship this morning. So the invitation is to keep the lights burning, basically. This was believed in the Dark Ages to be a way of keeping the world going by the prayers of the faithful people. So you're all invited to participate, sing loudly. We will be singing canticles in between the lessons. Um, there's lots of audience participation. And um, if you want to move up, feel free, because we got lots of space this morning. <laughs> so the, the worship will begin with the prelude. Thank you. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways 
to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord. This is said by all. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. We read Psalm 67, responding by half verse. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the people with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing. And may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Acts. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia, pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. We set sail from Trials and took straight course to Samothaeus, the following day to Nippolis, and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river, where we supposed there was a place of, of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Triteria and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was being said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
A reading from John. Jesus said to Judas, not Iscariot, those who love me will keep my word and my father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my word and the word you hear is not mine, but is from the father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I'm still with you, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I'm going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so then when it does occur, you may believe. The word of the Lord. saying the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Guard them, hold them, now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all our sins today. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain.
O God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray, so, we humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, May bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. On behalf of Selden, good morning, Grace Church. <laughs> a little bit shorter, but um, both those of you who are here as well as those of you who are watching online or watching the YouTube uh, playback later in the week. Um, so as Deborah mentioned before the service, Selden is at Camp Chanko with the youth of our diocese this, this weekend being the chaplain for their May weekend event. Um, so he will be back in the office this week, so if you have any pastoral needs, please continue to call as you always do. Um, our vestry person of the day is uh, Jim Geeskin, who's in the back. If you have anything that you need to pass along, you may see him and he will dutifully take notes and pass it along to Selden. Um, so, but we're so glad you're here this morning. Um, let, this week, this month, our Thanksgiving basket is going to the Newport News Green Foundation, who we heard from during our adult formation time last week. Um, and so they provide green spaces throughout the city of Newport News. So Kenley is going to help with the Thanksgiving basket this morning. Let me flip the microphone. Thank you for the opportunity to have uh, morning prayer this morning. I'm thankful for um, things that we all take for granted, like wonderful produce at this time of year. I went to the Williamsburg Growers uh, uh, Little Farmer's Market yesterday morning, and they came and spoke to us. And um, we should never take for granted that we get to have beautiful produce. You know, we need our bees, and we need people to plant plants, and we need the sun to shine, and we need the rain. 
And um, I got the best looking stuff, y'all. We need to go visit it. Was, I had spinach that was picked that morning. And it's just, it's lovely. Stuff that hasn't been laying in a kitchen, I mean, on a grocery store shelf. This is much better. So I encourage you all to go visit them here. Thankful to be back at Grace after being gone for two weeks. It's wonderful to be back home. Thankful for good health. I'm thankful for all the volunteers that helped high school events happen. I'm thankful for everyone who's helping our bookstore get going again, especially Virgie today. Thank you for all my helpers. Thank you for Deborah, who said yes when asked. <laughs> I am thankful that Camp Chanko is open and that events are going on. That's one of my very, very most favorite places to serve. Oh, I'm thankful for a successful field hockey tournament yesterday. <laughs> and no one had heat <laughs> I, too, am thankful for Deborah for saying yes and leading us today, and for Jerry and Lenora for reading and stepping up, and Kimberly and Jerry. I have to give you an eye on you because my purse is way over there. Um, I said this last week, but I am thankful for our prayer book and the work of Thomas Cranmer and his colleagues in the middle of the 1500s who gave us this beautiful translation of prayers that were before only available in Latin and Greek and put the hands, put the work of the liturgy into the hands of lay people and trusted us to read the Bible and to carry the faith just as much as the ordained people that came to serve us. So thank you. Thank you, Kenley. Um, and thank you all for your Thanksgivings that will, again, will all go to the Newport News Green Foundation this month. A couple quick announcements. Uh, the first is that two weeks from today, on Pentecost Sunday, following this service, we're having a picnic. So check your Fridaygram for more information about what to bring, what you don't need to bring. So we'll hope that it is a perfectly glorious day like it today is. And so if not, we've got rain plans too. But uh, check your Fridaygram for all of the details. Um, and then Melinda Reed has an announcement for us about EFM registration. In May, we began recruiting for Education for Ministry students. Class begins in the fall. I think I'm preaching to the choir here. <laughs> if you have taken EFM or you're in EFM currently, would you please stand? EFM graduates and non-graduates. Carlton Bauckham called these people and Education for Ministry to be the yeast of the parish. So I invite you to consider EFM in the fall, if you would, please. It is a four-year course. You register for one year at a time. We study the Hebrew Bible, the New Testament, the Christian Bible. We do an entire year on church history, which is a pretty amazing event. Mm -hmm. And then we spend our fourth year talking about theology and the philosophy of religion. It's a wonderful course that allows you to dig deeper into your faith and to give you a more rounded perspective, an ecumenical perspective of the world around us. So if you're interested, Andrew Brock is the point of contact this year or see me after the service and I'll be sure and get some information to you. Thank you. Unprinted in your bulletin, but the offertory will follow, and, and then we'll, after the offertory, we will continue with the 
the general thanksgiving. Praying together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us. 
granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.